Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to add or remove a host using the Nagios XI API. And this is actually a feature exclusive to Nagios XI 5, which is our latest release. So I recommend downloading it if you have any interest in the API whatsoever. I think it's a very powerful tool and it'll only be expanded on in the future. So it's worth, uh, worth getting your hands on now. So to get started the API and adding re and removing a host from it, it's important to understand what an API is. So as I go along, I'll kind of explain a little bit of detail about how this can be used in your own infrastructure. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the help section, which contains all of our API documentation, and go to config reference. Config reference is where we've, um, we've posted examples that include you know, how to configure a host or a service or a myriad of other things on your system. The important thing to note is that you will need the curl command to interface with our API. And the curl command is available on uh, you know, almost every Linux and, and Unix-based distribution by default. And it's also important to note that this API can be accessed remotely. It, you don't have to log into the Nagios XI box to interface with our API. It, it's accessed remotely via an API key and the curl command. So the, the key helps secure it. And then um, you essentially just provide the API with the options that you're looking for. And to get those options, simply look at our documentation and they're all included here. So this is an example that will show us how to configure a host via the API. So what we'll do is we'll take this example, copy it, open a terminal, and just paste it here. So the curl command, first of all, is used to interface with protocols and manipulate them. And this one, uh, in, in this example, we're going to run a post against the HTTP protocol against our API URL using our API key. And then we include a bunch of options. These options include you know, the host name, the address, etc. I'll go over them later. And then at the end, you'll see we have an and apply config equals one, which will reload Nagios after this host has been implemented. So let's just remember that the host name is test API host apply and press enter. We get some feedback in JSON that says success successfully added test API host apply to the system and Nagios core was restarted. So we can verify that that worked in the home screen. Go to home, host detail, search for test hit search, and you can see test API host apply was created. And in the same vein, we can go back to help, back to config reference, and we can delete that host in the same way. So you'll see we can delete a config slash host using this simple curl command. So we'll copy this one to the terminal at this point. You can see this one's actually a lot shorter because all we have to do is specify the host name that we'd like to delete, and that's it. Then we apply the configuration. So we'll do that. You can see that it successfully removed test API host apply and Nagios was restarted. So go back to host detail, search for test once more, and you'll notice that no matching host has been found. So that tells us that the host was removed from the system and Nagios core was restarted. This is our first command, the one that generated a host, but I've separated it into a more digestible format. So you can see the separate options that we're actually configuring when it comes to uh, defining this API check. So it's actually very simple to customize this toward your environment and kind of tailor it to do what you want it to do. It's especially useful if you have an automatic application that's going to generate these configurations. For instance, Puppet. Puppet is a great example because Puppet can you know, spin up an Amazon uh, web service host, like a virtual machine up in their cloud. And after that host spins up, then Puppet could access the Nagios XI API and add that host to the system as simple as this. In the same vein, we have the delete command. I've separated it. And really the only, uh, the only thing that will need to be changed here is the host name. And if you have any questions about the API or that whole process, feel free to contact us at support.nagios.com slash forum. The support team is there. Otherwise, feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.